It's up guys, it's Dark Arm Duels, and I'm going to be doing a Vinami Naga deck profile. So I'm really excited to do this for you guys, because this deck is actually suggested to me by one of my patrons, Gloomba. And this deck is an extremely fun deck to play to summon out Vinami Naga and win with its win condition. This deck turbos out Vinami Naga extremely quickly, and it's just super fun to be able to play, because I've included all sorts of spicy tech cards in this build for you guys. So without further ado, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, Hit the bell in there so you can come part of Notification Squad and definitely check out the Patreon down in the description below for all those awesome rewards like getting your name description every single video, getting assigned cards in the mail, and even getting to request a deck profile every single month to your Patreon. And definitely give Gloomba some love down in the comments down below for suggesting such an awesome deck. So let's get straight on into this one, guys. So first off, we're going to be playing a single copy of Vinami Naga. This card is an extremely important one of in the deck, but you only need a single copy of this card because you're only usually summoning out this card one time by Rise of the Snake Deity. This card is a really awesome card because it has the ability it cannot be normal summoned or set. It must first be special summoned with Rise of the Snake Deity and cannot be special summoned by other ways except by its own effect. And this card gains 500 attack for each reptile monster in your graveyard and usually this card comes out absolutely massive because we have cards like snake rain in this deck this card cannot be targeted and it is unaffected by other card effects which is absolutely crazy that this card is that powerful and it also has the ability that when this card is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard you can manage one of the reptile monster from your graveyard and special summon this card back to your side of the field and when this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent you place a hyper venom counter on this card and when it has three hyper venom counters on this card you automatically win the duel which is crazy how easy it is to be able to put hyper venom counter on this card. We then play two copies of Vinamina. Vinamina is a good two of in the deck, but you only really need two copies of this card. We have a bunch of different ways to get this card back out of the graveyard, and then a bunch of ways to be able to pop this card on our side of the field so we can activate Rise of the Snake Deity to summon out our copy of Vinami Naga. We then play three copies of Reptilian Kotal. Kotal is a great tuner in this deck to help us go in for all sorts of different synchro plays. This card is really good because if you control a dark reptile monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. Then if your opponent controls any monsters with zero attack you can special summon up to an equal number of reptilian monsters from your hand which is a great effect and if this card that you control would be used as synchro material for a reptile monsters synchro summon you can treat this card as a non-tuner which is a great effect to be able to use with this card we then play a single copy of reptilian nayami Nayami is a good one of in the deck, but you only really need a single copy of this card in this build. Because during the main phase, if you have a reptile monster in your graveyard, quick effect, you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard and then target one face up monster that your opponent controls and change its attack to zero. And if your opponent controls a monster with zero attack, then you can special summon this card from your graveyard, which is a great effect to be able to drop one of your opponent's monsters down to zero attack while also getting this monster on your side of the field. We then play a single copy of Reptilian Lamia. Lamia has a good one of in the deck but you only need a single copy of this card in this build because it has a great effect but it is a tuner monster so it does help us go in for a bunch of synchro plays we then play three copies of nunu nunu is one of the most important cards in the entire deck to help us get cards in the graveyard because you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to send a dark reptile monster from your deck to the grave and if you control no monsters or you only control a dotic monsters you can special summon this card from your graveyard but banish when it leaves the field also you can't special summon monsters except for reptile monsters while this card is face up in the monster zone which is not that big of a deal because you're usually just summoning reptiles anyways we then play three copies of noya noya is a great three of as well in this particular deck that you're usually sending in the graveyard with nunu but this card is the ability you can send this card from your hand to the graveyard to send a light reptile monster from your deck to the grave and if this card is normal or special summon you can add one adotic spell or trap from your deck to your hand which is usually going to be your copy of water lily that you're grabbing out of the deck we then play a single copy of Zoha. Zoha is a great extender in this deck, and you just want to play a single copy of this card in the build, but it's a really, really good card in this deck. We then play a single copy of the Adotic Light. This card is also a great extender in this particular deck, and a card you're always going to want to get in the graveyard, because it has a really good effect that if this card's in the graveyard, you can treat a monster to be able to special summon this card. Then your opponent can special summon one monster from their graveyard, but negate its effect. And if this card is special summoned, you can target one level four or lower Adotic monster in your graveyard and special summon it but banish it when it leaves the field which is a great effect to bring back your copy of noya to be able to use its effect to search out your copy of water lily we then play a single 
copy of the Adotic Dark. Adotic Dark is a good one of in this particular build, but you only need a single copy of this card. We then play two copies of the Therion Empress. The Therion Empress is a really, really good extender in this deck just to get you an additional monster on your side of the field. It has the Therion effect that you can target a Therion monster or a reptile monster in your graveyard to be able to special summon this card from your hand. If you equip that monster to this card, which is just great to get an additional monster on your side of the field to use for link summoning or a bunch of different plays. This card is a great two of in this build. We then play a single copy of Night Sword Serpent. Night Sword Serpent is another extender in this deck. If this card is sent to the graveyard by a card effect, you can special summon this card, but banish when it leaves the field. This card is great to send a graveyard off your copy of your snake rain. It's just a really good one of in the deck. So that's it for the monsters, guys. Let's get into the spells. So for the spells, we're going to be playing a single copy of the Adotic Serpent Strike. I feel like one copy of this card is totally fine because we can search it in this deck extremely easily. I feel like one is fine in this particular build, but it has the ability you can send one monster from your hand or field to the graveyard and then target a reptile monster in your graveyard with a different original attribute than that monster and special summon it, which is really a great effect to be able to use in this deck. It also has the ability during the main phase, if a monster is sent to your opponent's graveyard, you can send a reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard which is great to be able to get our copies of our cards in the graveyard we then play just two copies of water lily water lily is searchable in this deck which is why i'm just playing two copies of this card in this build it's a great two of in this build and it's basically like a foolish burial that's searchable and it has the ability you can send a reptile monster from your deck to the graveyard and if you have five or more reptile monsters with different names in your graveyard you can special summon one reptile monster from your grave which is just an awesome effect we then play three copies of Snake Rain. Snake Rain is one of the most powerful reptile cards ever created because you discard a card and then you send four reptile monsters from your deck to the graveyard, which is just such a powerful combo piece in this deck. We then play three copies of Pot of Prosperity. Pot of Prosperity is just so good in this deck to help us dig into the deck to get to the exact card that we need to summon out our copy of Vinami Naga. So that's it for the spells, guys. Let's get into the traps. So for the traps, we're going to be playing three copies of Rise of the Snake Deity. This card is an extremely important three of in the deck that you always want to see because when a face up Vinamina, the king of poisonous snakes that you control is destroyed except by battle, you can special summon out a Vinaminaga from your hand or deck, which is an awesome effect to be able to get our copy of our Vinaminaga onto our side of the field. We then play three copies of Offering of the Snake Deity. This card is a great three of in the deck to be able to pop your copy of Vinamina on your side of the field so you can activate Rise of the Snake Deity so you can get your copy of Vinaminaga onto the field. This card is basically like Icarus Attack that you target a face-up reptile monster you control and two cards your opponent controls and destroy those targets, which is just a really good effect. We then play three copies of Back to the Front. Back to the Front is really good to be able to bring back our copies of our monsters to our side of the field, especially our copy of Vinamina, so that we can destroy it and then summon out our copy of Vinaminaga. We then play three copies of Limit Reverse, which is basically like three more copies of Back to the Front for this deck for our copies of our Vinamina to get back on the field. This card is just really good in the deck because it has the ability that you can target one monster with a thousand or less attack in your graveyard and special summon it in attack position. And and if the target is changed to defense position, you destroy it, which will prompt the effect of your copy of Rise of the Snake Deity, which is really good in this particular build to be able to use. So that's it for the main deck, guys. Let's get into the extra deck. So for the extra deck, we're going to be playing a single copy of a Reptilian Malusin. Malusin is just a good one of in the deck that's just super easy to summon this particular build. If this card was single summoned using only Reptile Monsters as material, which it always will be, it cannot be destroyed by battle or by card effects. And once per chain, when your opponent activates a monster effect, except during the damage step, quick effect, you can target one face of monster your opponent controls and change its attack to zero. And if this card was singer summon, or if the singer summon card that you control is sent to the graveyard by an opponent's card, you can add a reptile monster from your deck to your hand, which is a great effect. We then play a single copy of Reptilian Hydra. Reptilian Hydra is a good one of as well in this particular build, because when this card is singer summoning, you destroy all face up monsters with zero attack that your opponent controls, and then you draw one card for each monster destroyed, which usually can be quite a lot of cards that you're actually going to draw off this card's effect. 
We can play a single copy of Barrel and De Fleur. You can make this card in the deck every so often, and it's a really good one up in the build to have just as a walking negate. We then play two copies of King of the Feral Limbs. King of the Feral Limbs is great in this particular build because of its ability that once per turn you can detach a material from this card and then add a reptile monster from your deck to your hand. We then play a single copy of the Rika Queen. Rika Queen is a really good one of in this particular build because it has the ability you can detach a material from this card and then target a plant monster or a Rika monster in your graveyard and add it back to your hand. But the big effect that we're going to use on this card is if this card with egg Z material is tributed, you can special summon a rank five or higher plant egg Z monster from your extract or graveyard, then you can attach this card as a material to that monster from the graveyard, which you're always going to summon out your copy of your sacred tree beast with this card's effect because it will give you a negate on your side of the field, which is super good. Your copy of your Dodic Light and a Dodic Dark actually tribute monsters to summon themselves back from the graveyard, so you can make your copy of your Rico Queen. You can actually tribute it to be able to summon out your copy of your Dodic Light or a Dodic Dark, and once you do, you'll actually put a negate on board with your copy of your sacred tree beast. We then play a single copy of number 97. Number 97 is really good in this particular deck to be able to summon to your side of the field because it's going to let you either summon a 9,000 attack point monster or a spell negate depending on if you're going first or second, which is really good, or depending on the situation that you need. We are playing a single copy of number 100 to go with our number 97 to summon out the 9,000 attack point number 100 or a copy of number 38, which is our spell negate that we can summon off of number 97, which is just really good. We then play a single copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax. This card is a good one of in the deck that's super easy to make in this particular build, and it's just a really good one of in the deck. We then play a single copy of Nightmare Unicorn to spin stuff. This is just a really good one of. We then play a single copy of IP Mascarena to be able to make your copy of Nightmare Unicorn during the opponent's turn, or make a copy of Mech Knight Crusadia Avermax using this card, which will give it that bonus effect to give it a little bit of protection. We then also play two copies of Reptilian Echidna. Echidna is a really good two of this particular build and i really love summoning echidna to my side of the field because if this card is link summon you can target one face of monster that your opponent controls and change its attack to zero and during your main phase if your opponent controls a monster with zero attack you can add reptile monsters with different names from your deck to your hand up to the number of monsters that your opponent controls with zero attack also, you cannot special on monsters in extract for the rest of the turn, except reptile monsters, which is not that big of a deal because we have plenty of them to summon out from the extra deck. So, that's it for the deck, guys. I hope you enjoyed. This deck is super fun to be able to play. If you guys have never played uh, Vinami Naga before, you definitely should give this deck a try. I love this particular build because it just turbos out Vinami Naga extremely quickly to our side of the field. So, that's it for this one, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, and there so you can come part of the notification squad, and we'll see you guys in the next video. See you later, guys.